We're here today to celebrate Heathrow's first birthday party. So this site, we've been here um, a year now. We took the land a year ago um, and it was completely different from how it looks now. It was disgusting and dirty and loads of rubbish and being used for kind of stolen car parts and all that kind of thing. And it was completely cleaned out and made um, unbelievably gorgeous now, as you can see. On March 2010, a group of activists fighting against airport expansion occupied an abandoned garden site in an area where BAA, the operator of Heathrow Airport, planned to build a third runway. It was a long fight between BAA and the community of this area who opposed the project, until finally the coalition government cancelled the third runway on April last year. What we need now is a, a space for the community to come together again to sort of rebuild after having such a like massive blight cause in the area and th that's what this, this space is so it's a community hub for residents to come together, rebuild um, and, and also looking towards the future you know creating more resilient and sustainable communities. The activists are helping to gather the community by reopening the market garden and holding workshops in gardening and bicycle repair. The occupied land is a neutral area where local residents can develop a sense of community at the same time that they learn about sustainable living. Well, I think it's a brilliant idea because of the fact that, you know, sort of BAA have destroyed the village and the community spirit in as much as many, many people have moved out. A group being here making the effort to bring together new people as well as the old people that are staying around into, again, a very busy and a, a very productive community is a brilliant thing, a brilliant idea. Aware of the positive change that this project has brought to the area, local residents, the Metropolitan Police and the local MP support the activists, but the owner of the land wants to evict them. We have met him directly and we did a lot of we spoke on the phone quite a lot about trying to negotiate long-term plans so we could stay here. So you know, we, we offered to offer him money to to buy up the land, and he seemed interested. And that was a sort of fairly decent relationship. But then suddenly he tried to evict us, tried to get us uh, removed. So we had a bit of a court battle in court, but we we won actually. So we've been given at least ten another ten months to stay. So today is the one-year anniversary. Um, so we've got another ten months. So a lot a lot more can be done in the next ten months. Grow Heathrow aims to teach grassroots solutions to climate change and peak oil, environmental problems and the aviation industry helps to increase. Sylvia Rothelsberger for the first pint.